What is this again? Pro vs. Average. Dang it. Okay, hey, Albert here from the Moto Academy. We got Jackson here for some reason, all the way from Medicine Hat, Canada. Shout out, Medicine Hat. And we are going to do an inside rut, which I've worked this. I've worked this thing in myself, so I have to say it's pretty darn good. It's getting a little choppy on the exit, though. Uh, this is Pro vs. Am. So the, the way this video works is he's going to just hit it however he desires, which is probably going to be bad. And then I'm going to give you a little advice. Or do I go then? I don't know how these work. I think I go then. Then I give you the advice to try to make you better, and hopefully by the end of this video, you have improved. Yeah. You should watch your content. There's some good stuff on you know, there. <laughs> you kind of learn you know, how it goes. <laughs> There's some good stuff on there. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. However you please. Am I safe here? No. 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 Uh, <sighs> let me. I'm going to go once without, like, don't count this one because I haven't rode in a while. So. Sure. 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 I will say this is a pretty tricky corner. The reason this corner is tricky is because see the embankment on the inside? It makes it so that you end up flying blind halfway through and you can't see where you're trying to go. All right, he's opening up the entry a little more this time. Wow, beautiful exit. <laughs> and the combo, no footed exit to no footer off the jump. We don't award bonus points for that in Pro versus Am. I will say he was a little more patient on the entry. Let's see what he does here. Opening it up even more. Okay. Whoa, God, that was an ugly scrub. That was an ugly scrub. All right, so he's he's claiming one more. He's, he's doing the one more signal here, I think. That last one was by far his best one. Let's see, we got a finger on the clutch, finger on the front brake. All right. That was... That, Two foot dabs, so Matt Flood calling out two foot dabs, that equals 20 push-ups. Okay, so how'd they feel? Which one was your favorite? What could you improve upon uh, The second mind? to last one, even though I dabbed at the end, um, my goggles are tinted. It's overcast now. That so I true. couldn't, it was having trouble. I mean, honestly, I was having trouble seeing the start of the rut. Um, yeah, I feel like, I, like in my gear? head, I'm getting my, pardon? Second gear? Second gear. In my it's head, I'm getting my foot high, but it's probably not on video. It's not. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. It's not anyway, that it's... Don't it's, tell me anything. Go. It's not even that... Okay, so that's how these work? Hold yeah. this. Don't look at my hair. Now, first one doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't ridden this rut in a while. I'm definitely in, like, the blast zone right here, so... You think? You should be good. I'm not going to annihilate it. I'm going to... Yeah, you should be totally I don't believe fine. you for one second, but all right. Okay, so let's see in sequential order here what I focus on. I sit early. Okay. There's I'm, nothing really stopping you from sitting early, correct? Right, and it's you're kind of arcing as you get before the rut. So I like to sit while I do that, so I'm not at risk of lo losing the front end. I did one where I stood a little deeper, and I didn't like how it felt. So, felt. so I sit early. That was helpful. I get off the rear brake super early, which you weren't even hitting it, I don't think, which is mm -hmm. fine. Um, you can see my foot peg scrapage on the beginning part of the rut, so that just means I'm getting a little bit more lean angle early. I'm focusing on really heavy weight into the outside foot peg. I focus on my hips because when I sit and put my foot out, I, I don't know if it has to do with tight hamstrings or what, but as soon as I put my foot out, I have the tendency to roll my back. So as I was putting my foot out, I was really trying to stay upright. 
uh, so my hips would stay in the right position. And then, and this is where you were really struggling, is two things. One, when I put my foot out, I do not put my toe straight. When you put your toe straight, what you, ha what you were doing happens, is your foot just continues to slide, slide, slide. When you put your foot up, try to point your toe in towards the front fender, and if it slides down a little bit, that's fine, but you will like be amazed at how much grip you have on that inside foot. I was actually almost placing my foot on the ground before it would come back to the foot peg because I was pivoting. Mm -hmm. it, like I was almost doing like a pivot turn in the rut. Now it's not ideal. What I started to do at the end is the rut is open at the beginning and then it gets tight at the end. And that's where you were struggling too. Is like you would have your same lean angle that you would have back here at the end of it. And then you would end up grinding the inner rut wall. Yeah. And that's where both of your feet would blow off. So you have to lean a lot early, but then get the bike kind of more upright as the turn opens up. It's already different from when you were out there. The rut starts to go down the straightaway now. So that's the hardest part of that rut is like that last 30%. You have to decrease lean angle. Okay. So for you, Sit toe earlier. in, all, all the other stuff you're doing, focus on okay. toe in and focus on less lean angle at the end. Okay. That's it. Cause your hips were good. Your everything else was pretty good. Hey guys, before we get back to the video, Moto Academy is doing a world tour in 2024 and we're releasing dates every single week. So head over to themotoacademy.com if you wanna train with myself in the Moto Academy. If you didn't see a location near you last time you are on the website, pop over to themotoacademy.com again because like I said, we're posting new dates multiple times a week, every single week, and we're going all over the world. Themotoacademy.com, go check it out. Back to the video. Jackson has improved quite a bit, I will say, in the last little bit. Nice, nice. I don't know how to do that. All right, so, so what happened there, and this is really common, is when you put your foot and your toe in the way that you're supposed to, it really promotes thinking that you can lean over a ton, which is nice, but you have to be careful of that. So he stuffed it because he leaned over too much right at the beginning. Toe in! Now what's tough is as soon as I put his focus elsewhere, I would guess that his focus before I said anything was on his hips because his back was really straight and nice. But now that he's thinking about the toe, his back and his hips fell apart. Toe in, good. That was okay. The one thing I will say is he's trying to accelerate and he needs it at the halfway point and out. And the power is so flat. He, I, he's, he's, watch his finger on the clutch, see if he's got it at all. Tell me if like from the halfway point on, does it look like if he's using the clutch at all? Uh, well, before you go, so, okay. Toe in was okay a couple of the times. You're, you're matching the lean angle of where in the rut you should be doing it, not great. Uh, your second to last one I think was the best, but you, I don't think are using the clutch at all in that last part of the turn. You need a little more RPM in that last part of the turn. So don't be afraid to use the clutch a little bit. I, I, this turn's tight, I'm using the clutch. This rut's tricky because now it carries down the straightaway like I was telling him a little bit. Now he's got getting not enough lean angle at the end, so he's grinding the outer rut wall. Okay, now that time he tried to use the clutch at the beginning of the turn, so it stood the bike up way too early. If you're gonna use the clutch in the corner, you should not need it until you're at the halfway mark. So then you were trying to use the clutch a little too early, which was like splurting the bike upright at the halfway point in the corner. Uh, Jackson, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't really happy with any of those. You think I was happy with that? <laughs> um, that, that? You were overcompensating, like you were getting not enough lean angle at the end and you were grinding the outer rut wall a little bit. Yeah. I, and maybe, you, are you looking far enough ahead? Can you see? Probably not. Do you have other goggles? Oh, you did switch goggles. Yeah. Um, this is the this is the only inside rut I've ever hit ever. This time, forget <laughs> everything else. Focus on one thing. Focus on just where your eyes are, and just look further ahead. Especially when you get to the halfway mark, you have to get your eyes in the right spot so your lean angle is correct for the end of that rut. Okay.
the track the track around the rut was better you just, you guys have to be patient when you work on things because what happens is when your focus goes in one spot the other things will kind of fall apart all right there we go and if you focus on vision for a few a few times through it'll create the confidence and the flow to where then you can begin kind of focusing on other things one thing at a time there we go so I don't know if you can tell on the camera the one thing that's really lacking when he focuses on vision is his foot his foot Toe in, toe in, toe in. <laughs> toe looked like it was out. Better. This is a this is a technical turn. Better. Really? It, technique wise, if I was like really nitpicking, yeah, yeah, you had some things going wrong. But your yeah. flow around the turn and the, the lean angle of the bike where it should be throughout the rut was way better. It felt smoother and I wasn't like felt like I wasn't riding up anymore. Yep. I did a little bit the one time I think, but like the, the one thing that falls apart the most when you were focusing on just your vision was your inside foot. Yeah. Your inside foot, when you're focusing on your vision, immediately like just started at the ground. Yeah. So th what I do is I almost like think about things in order. So the first thing I think about is my foot. Because see, I notice how far out, like yeah, I would put you were my foot out like... way back there. That's part of the reason I would sit early too, is I would just like I'd think, okay, toe in. Yeah. And that's like the first thing that goes through my head. Second thing that goes through my head is, it's because now as soon as I put the toe in, I'm at risk of rolling my back. I'm like, okay, back right. So I'm, I'm thinking of that like right at the corner entry. Then when I get to the third, one third mark, then I'm thinking of, okay, pressure on outside foot. And then when I get to the halfway mark, now I'm just thinking of where do I look to make sure that this lean angle is correct. And I, I, I do that with front brake. And I was also, I don't usually teach this. I was using the clutch a little bit to manipulate the lean mm -hmm. angle at the end. Because that rut's, that rut's really easy at the beginning, for me at least, really difficult at the end. Yeah, that's what I found. Like, up until there, like, even if it's, uh, it's probably not looking great, but it feels good up until then. And this then I get to the end, backwards. and I kind of am just like, I don't know what I'm doing, just power it out. It's also, it's easy on this bike. Because it, it has the power when you need it, mm -hmm. which I think it's easy. There you have it, Pro versus Am. Canadian edition, featuring Jackson. We've had the whole Moto Academy team uh, here this week, which has been really fun. And we've been doing it quite frequently lately. So, yeah, if you want to uh, apply for a job, don't. Because we have a very strict vetting process. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of funny how we, we hire him. Well, actually, he, he won a trip at the very beginning. So I guess if you want a job, subscribe. Hope you win a trip. And then... Uh, That's it, it. We'll see. That's the interview and process. we'll see. Yeah, the trip winner... Um, vetting process seems to work pretty well. Okay. Thank you, uh, Tampa MX, for letting us use the track today. Nicely done. Subscribe. Toodaloo.